Welcome, guys. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we are going to talk a little bit about Disney Springs. What we're going to talk about is um, places I would recommend eating at. Um, and that would be anything, whether it's for snacks, meals, whatever. So this is going to be kind of a mixed list. So it's not going to be a very long list because I haven't eaten everywhere at Disney Springs, but I have eaten a lot of places there. One place I'm really looking forward to, I'm going there soon, and I really want to try the new um, uh, quick service restaurant called Eat, E-E-T. I really want to try that, and um, so I'm looking forward to that. But So I haven't had that yet, so I can't put that on the list and be honest about it. But I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, if you're at Disney World, the best place to get food is going to be Disney Springs, and that includes of all the parks. I know Epcot has pretty decent food. Um, Disney Studios has uh, the Brown Derby, which is fantastic in my opinion. And also the, uh, the 50s place, I forgot the name of it. Oh, that is not like me. Primetime, the Primetime Diner or whatever. Uh, they're really good. And personally, I like, I like the, uh, the commissary and there's, I think there are a lot of good places to eat at Hollywood Studios. The Magic Kingdom, not so much, although nostalgically speaking, I still like to eat at the Magic Kingdom, just nostalgia-wise. I um, like Pecos Bill, you know. But a long time ago, you know, because I am older, so I've been to Disney World even in the 70s, used to you get get a burger at the Magic Kingdom and then you would go up to the Toppin's bar and it would have everything you could think of Toppin on a burger including cheese sauce and now you've got it they don't have they don't have that anymore I guess since COVID or it may have been before COVID but I don't know but anyway in this video we're talking about Disney Springs so I'm gonna tell you some good places to eat and some in my opinion not that great place um, and these are in no particular order, but, uh, but we're going to start with Morimoto's. It is wonderful. They don't have a huge, huge menu. They do have a lot to choose from, but it's not an enormous menu. When I went there, I had the Peking duck. I tried the ramen and I tried, uh, we got the mushroom fries, like the portobello fries. They were really good. But the Peking duck, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, and Raglan Road, it's a really good food. I enjoyed their bangers, their bangers and mash, and their shepherd's pie. And um, then there's Wine Wine Bar George, which has this, and I forgot what it's called, but this melty cheesy thing. They set on fire, and then they put it out with a, a lemon. That's really good. Um, and one of my place favorite places there to get something to eat at is Bigly Poutine, which is a quick service counter. You just walk up and order your poutine. They usually have they have they have traditional poutine, which is the, the fries and the cheese curds and the gravy. But they also have different kinds, like an Italian kind. Maybe I've seen them with the Thanksgiving kind, a Mexican kind. They have different kinds, but I always go with the traditional. And. Uh, Oh, Art Smith's Homecoming. Mmm, they're wonderful too. Really good mac and cheese, really good fried chicken, really good biscuits, um, really good chicken biscuits. Um, I, when I went there, I had really good tea there, but somebody else told me their tea is like, like floral, like flower water, but I did not find that to be true when I had tea there. So, I don't know. You'll have to try that out for yourself. And, um... And of course, Gideon's is a great place to get a sweet treat, one of their cookies or a slice of cake. It's wonderful. I can't eat that stuff, but I had a little taste. I taste enough to know how wonderful it is. Now, there is a wait, and you can mobile order, but there is a queue that you have to wait in line for. But, you know, I know people who have waited in that line for two hours. I'm not trying to wait in line for anything for two hours, but... Um, if it means that much to you, go ahead because it is delicious. Uh, 
oh and house of blues the house of blues like people they're people flip-flop like there are like a lot of people that love it and a lot of people that hate it for their food but i love their food their po' boy is delicious their um cornbread is yummy i love it it kind of has a kind of peanut buttery taste in the background it's really good um, the only other cornbread I've had like it is at a soul food restaurant here in Jacksonville. It's really good. The cornbread is, their cornbread's really good. Um, I've only eaten at House of Blues when we had a show to go to, but yeah, I do like House of Blues. And let's see. Um, oh, and as far as places that aren't that great, I mean, I don't want to say they're bad but they're really not for me like planet hollywood um i've never really been a big fan of their food i've eaten at different planet hollywoods all around and just never been a huge fan of their food but the last time i ate there it was just disappointing with a capital d just really way too expensive for what it is and t-rex and rainforest cafe they're kind of the same thing you know, they pretty much have a very similar menu, you know, chicken tenders, burgers, things like that. Um, and it, it's perfectly passable food, but definitely not what I want to eat when I'm on vacation. If you have kids and you want that atmosphere for your kids, then those are good places to go. I don't want to dissuade anyone from going to those restaurants, but there are definitely better choices there if you have those are good places to go if you have picky eaters who only will eat chicken tenders or whatever but if you can talk them into going to one of those other restaurants go for it um yeah because they're they're expensive restaurants and there are a lot better choices there for that price range so yeah um See what else? Oh, and Goofy's. Goofy's. I think it's called Goofy's Candy Company. They have really good cupcakes. And uh, and the Polite Pig has really great barbecue. But um, the number one restaurant I would recommend for a sit-down meal would be either Art Smith's or Morimoto's. Um, the number one place I would recommend for like a walk-up snack savory treat is the daily poutine for a sweet treat either amaretts the ganachery or gideon's you're not going to go wrong with any of those you're not going to have a big weight at the ganachery or amaretts but you are going to be looking at a, a, a weight at um gideon's um, and gideon's also has a great atmosphere it's very small very small place but it has beautiful artwork on the walls and it looks Harry Potter-ish it really does um, but like I said I'm looking forward to this place to eat um, yeah. I think that's about it that's really all I have to share um, I just wanted to give you some of my thoughts I'll do you know I'll do the theme parks too but um, right now uh, I'll give you an update after I eat at eat um, but those are uh, my suggestions for right now and my suggestions for what to avoid but uh yeah but that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to everyone later bye